Welcome, gang. I've got another parcel. Cool. Sorry. That's better. I've got another parcel. This one I've been looking forward to. This one I've been looking forward to. What do we have here today to review? Finish! This is the GEP RC. High quality quadcopter. Yeah, the GEP RC. I've done a few reviews of some GEP RC drones. Uh, yeah, check out my history and past videos on my channel. And there's plenty there for you guys to look at. If you're new to the GEP RC, they're um, makers of some pretty decent gear, let me tell you. Let's have a look in here. This is the Skip HD, guys. Toothpick FPV. I assume you guys are out there saying, where did you get this from? Well, link down below. Follow the bouncy ball, grab yourself a bargain. Right, okay, here we go. A little bit of foam at the top to keep it safe. Ah, I do like the QC of the GEP RC. Look at that. Nicely packaged up in its own little atmosphere. We get some. Stickers, more stickers. FR Sky binding manual. Frequency table. Props times four. Or more props. Bag of goodies containing some antenna surrounds, some foam, a Cadex US 5D OSD menu board, non slip, GEP RC battery pack, screwdriver. Allen key and lots of little tiny screws. Let's crack on into it. So, of course, this is the Skip 3, which is a 3 or 4S uh, LiPo battery option. And running with the Cadex Baby Turtle on board, should be pretty decent. Nice. Wheelbase of this baby, you're looking at 118 mils and 2k carbon fibre body running at 2.5 millimetres. Pretty darn sturdy. So up front here guys, nice and thick 1.8 mil turbo eye lens here. Here with the CMOS 800 TBL camera. Recording 1080p at 60 frames a second, which is pretty cool. It's got decent camera surround protection around here, you can see. This TPU frame, it's um, yeah, really good. It's covering most of the stack. Feels pretty strong, pretty rugged, yet has a bit of flex in it as well. So you can take some of those knocks with a little bit of a prehistoric... prehistoric type reptile look. So that's pretty cool. So back here at the rear, you've got some dipole antenna mounts. Yeah, the first stack there, the 200 milliwatt smart audio. Just below the VTX, you're running your Cadex Baby Turtle with uh, onboard DVR, which is, as you can see, just under here. Now I do have some, a couple of wires in the way there, but I shall do some finishing off just so I can get my DVR cut in there without getting without those wires getting in the way. And of course, over the other side here, you'll have your on off button for your DVR. No drama. And remember guys, when you are recording DVR, make sure you use that stop start button. If you just pull the battery out, then you'll corrupt all of your sweet video footage, which can be a bit of a pain. Then you shove down the bottom, you got your Gap RC F4 flight controller with 12 amp ESCs, decent. Your USB port underneath, nicely tucked away out of harm's way, and your 3 or 4 S GEP RC double sided Velcro strap, which is always nice. Don't forget it has a plug and play motor plug, so there's no soldering required should you have a mishap with one of your motors. Over here dangling away is the XT30 for your power supply and that's coupled up with a little capacitor. 
Now this will be running the standard GEP RC 3018 3 inch props as supplied. Be cautious, don't run the three bladers on here, otherwise you'll burn out your ESCs. The 1105 5000 KV motors. Nice. Four hex screws holding that motor in, two on the top to hold the prop in. Dry weight, no props, 68 grams. Pretty good. I've got a 3S here, 300, and you're looking at 95.58 grams. Should you want a little bit more flight time, I recommend the 4S 650. And that brings the weight up to, okay, 137 grams. If you are gonna run the slightly larger 4S 650 like myself here, um, you try and strap it in, it looks like it's a bit slippery. There's a reason for that. You just need to take off the plastic here. It's protecting the base there. You'll see you've got a nice, quite grippy, non-slip surface there. So you'll slide your 4S in, tighten up your battery. That's a decent little setup. I think I better put some props on and get this thing up in the sky and see how she sounds. The GEP RC Skip HD. I'm running the 4S600 on her. I'm going to record some onboard footage. Line of sight for you. First flight. Let's see how she goes. Okay, line of sight. Nice little flyer. And I've got a bit of rubbish stuck on the bottom. A little bit of grass. That's no good. Okay, here we go. Just on horizon mode for my line of sight. Okay, do a bit of a punch out here. Pretty decent looking thing. Seems like a nice flyer. Not too quiet. Controls seem pretty nice, pretty responsive. Pitching seems pretty cool. Okay. Let's not waste our battery. Let's get into some FPV and see how she looks from up above. Hey, thanks for stopping by gang much appreciated smash on that bell so you grab my next upload um, it's getting a little bit dark here so I didn't shoot as much as I wanted to but I'm just having a bit of a fly around here first impressions of this GEP RC it's fabulous and as you can see the 1080p recording is yeah pretty much second to none so stay tuned plenty more footage of this GEP RC skip coming up and thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. See you very soon in the sky. Sky pilot. Catch you later.